Hey, what's up guys? My name's Charlie. Uh, I'm 29 and I'm from the UK. And um, I've been in the uh, Guinea Triangle for, well, in and out for the last four years. I'm actually a content creator and a lot of that content is spent in the water. I've wanted my sleeve for maybe two years now or something, uh, but I've never just found the time to, to get it done properly because the healing process is such as you have to be out of the water for two weeks at a time. So yeah, now is, now is literally the perfect time to to get, to get that sorted. So I've always, I've always seen Blackfish, the tattoo parlor. Uh, it's right on the strip. And I just found this amazing guy who uh, is called Bagos. He specializes in realism tattoos. His attention to detail is amazing. Uh, so he could, he, uh, he's gonna really capture like, the emotion in, in the pieces. But I've gone for portraits and I've gone for uh, influential like front men of bands that like, really inspired me. So I guess music has always been quite a big part of my life really. Uh, it all started when I was about 15, 16. Basically our leisure centre, they, they dedicated one room a week on a Friday. It was called The Vibe. Uh, to either a band night or a club night or something like that, just for under 18s, which was great. A band from Sheffield arrived at the at the vibe, and uh, they just absolutely went for it on stage. They were like they were angry, they were fun, they were pouring vodka into people's mouths, and at the time, 15, 16, that was you know that's what we wanted to do. They were just great, great fun. So we were just like, who are these? Who, like, who are these guys? Like from Sheffield, like just the confidence it was like, running through them, and we were just all kind of taken aback, really, which is what kind of attracted us in the first place. And their name is well, Bring the Horizon. Um, at the time, Pirates of the Caribbean was quite a big movie. And there's a really famous scene at the end of Pirates of the Caribbean with Johnny Depp who says, bring me that horizon. So there was all kind of these things that linked up, linked up quite nicely together. Yeah, so we, there was a lot of um, like lyrics and things that resonated with me quite well. And the music was just kind of a representation of how I was feeling at the time, you know, anger and like lots of fun, just wanted to have a lot of fun. The music reflected how I was feeling and kind of, I just ran with that, I guess. Uh, so when the band uh, started to do more shows, I mean, they worked relentlessly. They just took any show that was going. Uh, they, they didn't care whether they played to 10 people or 50 people. Me and my group of mates, we got each other uh, together and we used to go and do the shows locally. We've followed the band now for 15 years. And I think that is because they've, we've just grown up with the band. Like they were the same age as us. Uh, so they've gone through the same kind of stuff that we've gone through the same process. So yeah, that's probably why, that's why I've stuck to that band uh, so well. So that's the reason why I thought the ultimate tribute was to try and get some portrait tattoos uh, of my favourite band. Ollie Sykes is going to be the, the centrepiece really. So he's going to be uh, on this part of the arm here. Um, and then he's also going on the back here. And they're two, they're two quite uh, iconic images of him on stage just doing his thing. Next one is going to be Charlie Simpson from Fightstar. Um, up on the side here, I'm getting um, Ralph from Enter Shikari. Similar background, similar story to Grim Horizon, really. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of have a, a memory over the last 15 years of the progression of the band and the progression of, of where we're up to in my life right now. I do have a Grim Horizon lyric, actually, on this arm already. Uh, I'd rather live than live forever. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to let, let Bagos loose, basically, and, uh, and, and let, him, let him fill out the other sleeve and, so this one's not feeling too lonely. Uh, so four days, uh, four portraits, and about 24 hours, I think it was. And it was all well worth the wait. Uh, so yeah, it's been about three weeks now until I actually got the, uh, the sleeve complete. And to be honest, I couldn't be happy with it. Um, I actually gave Bagos, the artist, quite quite difficult portraits. Like there was a lot of emotion in the portrait, but I, honestly, he's captured like every single detail that I was after. So uh, huge shout out to Andy and Bagos for looking after me at Blackfish. And uh, yeah, absolutely buzzing with the finished product.